Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back in XCOM Camera Squad. I think, and I can't remember what we decided in the last episode. It was between these two. I think we decided that we have enough credits to not do that one. And we're hoping that this mission goes critical in the next day. So, I'm going to do this one. Because it also brings down the, uh, the district unrest by two. Um, which will help us because you know that's gonna go to zero. We're gonna get a targeting system, which is a weapon mod. If a hostile force will cause imminent harm, you'll need to stop them by any means necessary. As always, subduing targets is preferable. We learn far more from captures than corpses. Yeah, someone has on her armor. Uh, I think it's Godmother. No, she has the mock weave, that extra padding. So I'm gonna take that off Cherub because Cherub does have his shield, which does offer some sort of um, protection. You have the breaching charge. You have an impact frame. I think we got something for Cherub. So we have an advanced stock. Miss shots deal two damage. Aim is increased by ten. What's everyone's aim? Seventy nine, seventy eight. 78 so i'll give him the scope uh what's the targeting system do shots apply hollow targeting to targets which grant allies okay i'm gonna give that to cherub okay i did that in the slowest way possible i'm gonna give this to cherub because his gun is less likely to kill on a shot um which means that either his second shot on something is going to do more damage or his first Oh yeah, or um, one of these two will be able to come back and shoot. It's actually probably not a good thing that we have two shotguns also, thinking about it again. Um, I'll give him the advanced stock. Because he's also more like, well he's not as likely to miss anymore. So, now it would be 79 and 78, so I'll give it to her then. Because it's only really effective if they miss, and then it deals two damage. So it's basically um, saying you will do two damage no matter what. I still don't have any breach items, utilities. This would be grenades. I don't have any breach items. Hang on, let me see. Is the store? Nope. The store should be open, right? Enhanced armor. What is this miscellaneous med kit? I could give her a med kit so she can hold for herself. I think I would do that actually. That way, if someone needs it, they can be healed, and Zypher will be our healer for now. While uh, Terminal gets her stuff up, gets her training done. Interesting how that made absolutely no noise, even though it usually does. Sweep the area for hostiles. Weapons free. All right. First thing we through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. You know, it automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. So we don't want Zypher to go first or last, basically. Does an extra three damage. I think I'll give that to Cherub. No, I'll give that to Claymore. Because he has the scope, which will increase his aim, so he's more likely to do that extra three damage. Uh, then I'll send in Zypher. And then I'll send in... I'll send in Cherub, then Godmother. Because if Godmother misses with her Overwatch shot, um, it'll still do two damage. Entering. Um, they're right in front of us. Yeah, that's 100%, so I'm going to take that easy. Okay, so now we have new uh, types. I don't know if I want to send her in closer because I know this is a melee type, the brute. I'm still going to do it though. Uh, yeah, there's really no point in not doing these things though. Uh, now he's hollow targeted, alpha strike. I could do this now, but I don't see a reason in doing this. I didn't check the amount of encounters this time either. But we were able to take everyone out in this at the breach point. This still might be more deeper in though. Oh, everyone gets put in Overwatch. Okay. What do we need to do now? Throwing shrapnel. And I'm gonna shoot that immediately. Oh, I can't see it. 
All right, well, I guess I'll take this shot. I have a 100% chance of hitting. Orange and Azure. I think that's the first time with all this mood. And shot, and of course, they made the hit too. I am still up. You better be. Let me draw their fire. Or you. If I hit you, I'll be in cover immediately, and I'll end your turn. I won't be in range of that explosive, so I'll be fine. Rachary. So yeah, she's gonna go take him out real quick. Easy peasy. The and the weapon was disabled, so I couldn't shoot. Uh, even if they wanted to, I'm gonna use parry because I don't want to move anyway. There's no way that she can really move to. You. Having her sitting places doesn't really matter because overall, it's not gonna mean much. You know what I mean? Because she can't go into Overwatch. Um, it's the only reason to have her move again would be to get her out of a dangerous situation. But she's behind cover and she's shielded, so. I think she's fine overall. We'll move over, over here. Uh, let's see. I put her right here. They'll still have cover. And I won't have any cover. So maybe I should bring her to here. And she'll have cover from that angle. He didn't have any cover from that angle, so it actually makes sense why that shot hit. Uh, and she's just gonna aim down and shoot him on the head. Yeah, take him out. I don't know what these train rounds are made of either, to be not killing every time, because they're still getting shot overall. I don't know what's in them. It was actually a way faster mission than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, so we got a new targeting system. Uh, we brought down the unrest in the area. Locals said the best jobs are the stacks. I in the stacks, and it's hard to argue. Funny thing, five years ago, I kept my head down. Today, I'm proud of this city. What we're making here is going to change the world. Once we are reliable, deliver it. Once we can reliably deliver it to the world, stay out of Bugtown, a local guide to 31 City. Or City 31. I said that completely wrong. Right. I'm Floyd Tesseract. And I'm part of the reason you lost your world. I was an architect of the invasion. As much as a slave to the elders can build anything. But I broke your world. You didn't know how to fight back. To think for yourselves. Well, you better start. Or someone else will do it for you. And who will you blame this time? Huh? I'm Floyd Tesseract. And I'm here to show you why you should have believed. Interesting. Don't know what he's really talking about there. All right. Cherub gains one charge at each, at the end of each encounter or guard. At the end of your turn, gain plus one armor, a half cover bonus even if flanked, and become half covered for friendlies. Uh, guard breaks after being attacked. So, gain armor at the end of your turns, and also always have half cover as well as being able to be half cover for someone else. So basically it's applying his shield to a real thing. Or gain one charge at the end of each encounter. This one sounds more useful overall. I mean, gaining one charge at the end of a counter is good, but if I can't um, do anything with that, then it doesn't matter. So like, I'm not always using his shield bash, which is the only real application for um, the gaining one charge every time. She has finished her training. Can she do any more? No, she can't. No one's doing spec ops. He's almost done with the enhanced shotguns. Uh, um, yeah, okay. So I think at this point, I actually want to switch out. So this mission has gone critical, so it's the only one that we have to do now. Uh, and I'm going to switch out Cherub now and train him now that he's the highest level and get him some extra health since he's essentially building up to be a tank we do want his health to be as high as possible this is telling us about the critical mission forces feel overwhelmed they may attempt to cut their losses in a spectacular fashion but they might destroy evidence or activate a bomb as you approach whatever the case stop them 
Why do I have so many extra trank rounds? Oh, you have a ceasefire grenade is why. Okay, that's why that killed earlier. It makes sense. And there's that. There's no extra armor. I'm gonna check for some things though. We didn't put. I thought we did put stuff on Cherub's gun. Why can't we get that back right now? Hang on, let me see. No, I'm doing this all wrong. Hang on. Click into here. Send APC. Or did we not put anything on Cherub's gun? She has the stock and the frame. He has the scope. Now she has the targeting system. But I thought we had another targeting system. We just got a second one, didn't we? So that means Cherub still has the targeting system that was on his gun. No, there it goes. Duh, actually. I was trying to look on Terminal who already had it. So it'll give you the targeting system since you're more likely to hit, which overall would increase Godmother's chance of hitting. Um, yeah, okay. You two have shrank rounds. You two will be killing. You have extra he padding for health. So I think we're already set to go. Is there anything extra I can put on you? Uh, I don't think I have anything left over. Train rounds, I guess. Although I don't really care for him to have them. Since we have them, might as well give them to him. Yeah, something's happening where this isn't making noise for me. And I can see in my mixer that it's Recently, not making noise for y'all. Recently, the kidnapped a construction crew and brought them here. Why would they need a construction crew? And how many people? 22, all hybrids. Now, the one who escaped tipped off 3-1-PD. It's a good thing they got out, but uh, kind of a bad thing that we took so long to get here. Successful so shots on enemies during the breach will stun. Guessing with this entrance will have plus one armor for the encounter. All units entering here get 25 defense for one round. Okay. Successful shots will hit. He has the scope, so I want to put him there. Uh... The plus to defense for the round, I think we'll give to Godmother. I realize her health is actually lower than I thought. And we'll send her through that way she has uh, the armor for this encounter. Reaching. Entering. What is that noise? There's something in here that I haven't seen yet, I think. Or at least it sounded like it. I thought it was Zypher making a weird noise for some reason. So you're aggressive. Who else can you see? They're both aggressive. So everyone in here is now aggressive. I fire a shotgun during breach and gain an initiative. An init in initiative. Oh, that is initiative. I don't know why I was struggling with that. Like, I didn't just read that word a few times earlier today. Anyways, gain an initiative boost and plus one action on the first turn. Hmm. I don't know if we want that yet. I forgot to check how many encounters this, this one was. Okay. So whatever you hit, you are... No, that's not who this was. Probably should have checked the turn order. Okay, we'll do the brute. And you will do... How much damage do you do? I can't remember. I think it's 5 to 6. I think 5 is the lowest. Uh, if not, she will at least disable his gun. Or we can hit the resonant. Or the acolyte. I think the resident has more psionic abilities, but they're already damaged and they're they're hollow targeted though, so I don't need to worry about that actually. Let's hope for a hit here. Yeah, okay. And then you'll critical. That doesn't do any effects though. All right, Godmother's up first. I can get Godmother in here. Who's number two? The Acolyte is number two. Why is my phone buzzing? Okay, so I moved them up here, Godmother. Let's see. I can do 100 on you, I have an 89% chance on you. It'd be best if I can take them out, because then they'll be out of the turn order and won't get their move. Alright. 
now it's her turn. Next up in the turn order would be the resonant at number two. What's the shot percentage here? Okay, can I move them a little closer? I, I mean, I can get her like right next to them actually. And since I can do this, I take the shot and now it should be, a, that's actually not that much higher of a chance and it's kind of annoying, but it, it hit at the end so it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, what, what is this one saying? Oh, I guess they're unconscious. All right, so crippling blow on him. Four to five damage. I don't know if the armor means anything for her, but we'll find out right now. Uh, it doesn't matter because she critted. So that was a pretty good encounter, actually. The only shot that they got off was in the uh, breach because there's an aggressive enemy. Some of them match the construction workers. Hmm. It sounds like we're gonna have to fight the people that they just changed. Enemies are harder to hit through here. All units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge for the round. Units can use the running gun ability on their first turn. It'd be nice if I had memorized throughout the most mobility out of all of these, out of these two. But I think I want to give it to Godmother. That way she can take a shot. What? I can't remember what it was actually. I think taking a shot doesn't end the turn right. I, it'll remind me in a second. Oops. I'm definitely sending Zypher through here, or, or yeah, because she wasn't, she won't be impacted, impacted by the enemies being harder to hit. Terminal, I feel like doesn't have the best aim already, so Moving it in. doesn't matter either way. Breach, breach, breach. Yeah, all right. You're surprised already, so I kind of want to skip over you. You're aggressive. You're, we have a lot of aggressive enemies at this point. I'm gonna take the take the 91. I have a chance to kill this thing right now if it hits and crits. All right, didn't even need to crit, so I took them out clean. Should I take whatever shot I can get, or should I try and kill something? I think I'm gonna try and kill something. Okay, it works out. Critical hits again. A lot of criticals. I don't know why so much. Um, you're a brute. Duh, that's a brute. They say you're uh, aggressive is what I meant to say. I don't know why this is 100% chance, but I'm going to take it. Alright. And again, we should net him. I guess that makes sense though. It's the closest target for him. Who's up first? Him? Okay. Uh, how much does your subdue do? Two to three damage. Okay. And this is number two in the turn order. I could run up and hope that it hits, but I don't see a reason in doing that. I could throw a ceasefire grenade. Disables all firearms in affected area. Does not cause any action to activate. Uh, let me make sure this is going to hit them. All right. I'll do that. Weapons disabled. So now they can't take a shot. They can do something with their psionics. Uh, I took the longest way to get here. Three rounds remaining to get to that. If Godmother doesn't get it, Zypher will. Yeah. But I do want to move him up a little closer. And then I'm going to take the shot on the resonant. Get some payback for uh, doing that to us, basically. I don't know why the... Brute has such terrible cover. I don't know how you shot at him not even facing it, but whatever. Oh, forgot all about that. Yeah. And the panic is resisted from killing it up close from that too. I don't know actually what that would have done. I could move here, take the shot and then open this. I think it should allow me to do that, right? And hopefully from here, because they have no cover, I can, uh. I don't want to. I want to make sure I can get this actually. Contraband, okay. Yeah. So the the ability that we got last time with Zypher allowed this thing, which was in the her, which was adjacent to her, it tried to run, got kicked on its way out because it was moving past her. All right, ninety six percent chance, and we grazed. Don't move. Don't move. Uh, okay. 
Okay, it didn't do anything though. All right, she should be able to move in and take him out though. So that's the thing with the brutes, they move around a lot. Um, Axiom is a brute also. The one character that we didn't get, but almost did. So there's that too. So he would have a similar ability. I'm picking up a massive power spike in the next room. It's consistent with a gene therapy clinic. But those are outlawed. They're turning hmm. hybrids into mindless killers? What monsters would do that? Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Successful shots will surprise. Successful shots also crit through here. Last unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. Enemies deal minus one damage during the breach. Successful shots will crit. Who can go through the vent? It's no one actually. No, I thought someone had the mock weave. Oh no, it's mock weave, not infiltrator weave. Okay. So you're taking a lot of damage for some reason. But you also will have the successful shots. You have to be in the same breach point though to be healed. So I think I will send everyone through here. Uh, can I unassign you? First through the window and fire at hostiles targeting. How do I get him out of here? Okay, I just clicked on it. It didn't let me do that last time. I did click there. Refresh. Yep. And she's gonna heal 2 HP to all the allies. Can she do anything too? No, okay. And you're gonna crash or bash the door in, okay. The last unit through this engine is guaranteed to land a shot and enemies deal minus one damage at this point. Okay. It really only healed him, but it's still might as well do it because we're at the last one anyways. Uh, I definitely want to take her out um, quickly too. Because I know she's a higher level character. She has to be though because we're this far into the investigation of this group. Uh, yeah, I guess just take a clean out. Bottled lightning. Don't know what that is. Uh, there's no one else in the area. Godmother's guaranteed to hit, so I'm not actually. I'm not gonna move them out there to potentially get hit by someone else. I'm not gonna move Zyphor out there to potentially get hit by someone else. We have a lot, a lot stuff to fight in here. I, I assume, yeah, that increased the, that was some type of buff is what it seemed like since he got to do it during the alert. This building is wired. Stop them from blowing it up. Okay. Uh, that makes this mission a lot more difficult. I assume doing them earlier makes them uh, easier. Okay. If I get right here, Ugh, this is gross, basically. How much damage does this do? Okay, well, that doesn't really matter then. Yeah, I guess I'll... Hmm. I want to use team up so I can bring someone up through the turn order. I think it will be... Cypher too. Because she can move in there, hit somebody, and hopefully he can move in here, kill number three, and then I can use Cypher to hit number four. That's what my plan is here. Uh, I don't know why I used him though, because he is already low-ish on health, as in he's already taken damage. Alright, now. Can you reach them, is the question. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. And we'll take them out. Oops, hit the wrong button. I would've been mad if that messed up. So crippling shot on them from here. All right, they're out. And hopefully we're not killing the people that were supposed to be coming in here to protect. She has no cover from them, so I'm gonna activate parry instead of moving again. And now you can... I don't wanna get close to a resonant, cause uh, 
it doesn't make sense to do. I don't know what all abilities resonance have really is the main thing here. Maybe I can get an angle. Maybe I have an angle on number two from here. That's what I'm hoping for by doing this. Uh, I can't. Can I open this door? No, I closed it. But I can overwatch that room. Let's see if I can get any sort of angle. I can't, so I kind of wasted this move. Uh, I can supply him with more defense since he's in that room and heal him back up to full. Thanks for the assist. Yeah, some people that actually say thanks. All right. Yet come one by one. I don't know how they missed. I'm not upset. He had a shotgun too, so it definitely would have done some damage. This acolyte's moving up. Who's that gonna be on? Okay. That's not too bad, I think. Okay, that is bad now. Alright. So, who's left? Godmother and Terminal are still in this room. Um, I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try the scatter shot move. And I know I can hit both of them. It's gonna take out her cover as well though. Okay, that almost killed. I was hoping it would kill the resonant. Uh, but that's not bad because I got her dropped. She still has cover actually, and I think she has cover from that range too. Or it does not. Take care of those wounds. So now they're trying to escape next. And then this this guy. I keep taking the longest way to get the angle that I want. I could just take this shot right here. I have an 83% chance. But I kind of want to move him to here first. And try and get the best chance I can with this shot. Yeah, 100%. Essentially a field execution at that point. And now you can run not to them, or maybe I should run to them. Yeah, I should actually, and put you in cover right here. Yeah, because I will kill. And I can Target use Perry, or I can use a nice. med kit on herself. No, I can't. So I can use Perry. So if, if the resident decides to shoot uh, Zypher and somehow gets that shot first, then, yeah, she'll be safe from it. I'm also gonna heal her. That way she's at full health and hopefully we can finish this whole mission with no one having taken any damage. Okay, okay. And I guess I'll move her over here. Headed where needed. I mean, I'm just gonna no subdue ammo. this resonant now because I used the last of her ammo. Oh no, she said low, not no. But either way, I'm still gonna do the same thing. That is terrible. We knocked their body into like a glass thing. Yeah, so we did take a lot of damage this time. We still did pretty good though overall. I think everyone finished with max health or close to. Actually, Godmother did take three damage. But overall, that wasn't too bad of a mission. Probably the worst mission so far though, damage wise at least. All right, so minus two on that rest in Renova Heights, plus 40 credits. Evidence collected was plus 50 Illyrium, 20 intel earned from captured enemies. Our assembly for enhanced shotguns is complete. Uh, we can't say it's better for everyone, particularly those who are 25 and under lived in the world that Advent built. They had a sense of unity guaranteed using and employ use housing and employing. I don't know how I got using access to gene therapy clinics. Of course, I don't think Advent was better for them, but we cannot forget that their entire world was up upended by XCOM's victory from darkest before dawn. The rise of City 31 in a post-war war world. The Progeny's hybrid abduction program is no more, but the damage they've done is substantial. All right. More than once, Progeny fleeing the scene seems to be vanishing without a trace. Figure out how they manage this magic trick. The Progeny can muster highly trained codex infiltration experts. Uh, so dark events seems like a negative buff, or not a, well, negative to you, but a positive buff for your enemies. So there's something you have to watch out for. 
or the project used sonic relays to coordinate their forces but but that's impossible without serious automation they must rely on modified admin tech to pull this off locate and confiscate it to disrupt their operations the project have developed tactics focused on using flashbang grenades <sighs> So it's really, do I want to be able to see and like constantly be able to stay in the fight or boy, do I want to be able to continue the fight without being stunned or do I want them to have, um, better tactics basically. The project can muster highly trained codex infiltration experts. I think the codex are, codex teleport around, but I'd rather, I'd rather deal with codex teleporting around. Than I would the um them flashing me. I don't I don't flashing me. Flash using flash mags on me. Godmother has gotten a promotion as well now. She's up to two. All right. If Godmother is unimpaired and takes enough damage to to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to one HP and given a turn immediately after the current turn. Once permission, flush. Godmother takes a shot at an enemy, forcing them to reposition. The shot does not. Does no damage on cooldown. That can be useful for if I don't have an angle on an enemy, I can put an overwatch in the area and then use flush to push make them come out. Or last stand. I think flush would work better tactically. Last stand would work for if I want to keep Godmother alive. But I haven't taken any serious damage with Godmother yet. So, I feel like flesh is gonna work better. Anybody else? You're level two, you're level two, you're two. You're still two, surprisingly. She got to two first, and you're still level one. All right, let's see what else is going on. Supply enhancement shotguns. Enhanced shotguns. I don't know what else I wanna work on. He... I can't remember what he uses actually. Let me check. Um, he uses it's either. I think it's an assault rifle, isn't it? So you use an assault. You have goblets. You have a shotgun. You have a shotgun. Shotgun. So I think I'm gonna do pistols now, uh, just because that damage is so low for cherub uh, compared to everyone else, at least. Do I still want Verge in here? Possibly so. I'm not sure. And he's still being conditioned. And we don't have anyone extra More besides once, that. Progeny fleeing the scene seem to vanish without a trace. Figure out how they manage this magic trick. All right. All right, so we have two situations and then we have this hidden uh, faction target. Uh... This one isn't so good because this started off at two unrest already. I don't want this one to go up any further. Um, ooh, that's stuck on my arm. Okay, so that's 80 and that's 65 intel. We are low on intel right now, like really low. I don't know what we just spent it on. I can't remember already. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna do the intel actually. Send APC. Is everything how I want it to be? That's basically what it's asking me, right? Oh boy. I have a hundred and no, I have fifty-five of that. Alright. Breach explosives, cease fire grenades, smoke grenade, breach tactical equipment, hollow scanner, target analyzer, uh medi patch. I might want to do this one actually. Enhanced pistols is currently in progress. If you change projects now, you will recover 55, but will lose all progress. How long is this going to take? This will take three days. This will take two. See, so yeah, I'm going to switch to this one, except that's not what I wanted to switch to. Switch it is currently in progress. If you change the project now, you will recover, but you will lose. Okay, except I hit the wrong one at first. All right. And now we can go to the shop. We have enhanced shotguns. I can afford one, so I will buy one. I think. Yeah, I will. So I'm gonna buy one enhanced shotgun. 
so I think we have everything we want. Uh, and go ahead and grab the extra intel. The device was not no clear connection to our current investigation, but someone continues to develop rogue tech in City 31. I'll inform headquarters. Chair has completed his basic training. The leaders of Progeny is a woman who calls herself Violet. No last name, no known origin. I don't know why this isn't giving me any sound. I'll have to check my settings in a second. We know why they're called the Progeny. She induced Sionix of each and every member. So, I mean, she's forcing them into Sion. They're not born with it, like Verge would have been. The sheer sonic power requires, required is alarming. Consider, viol consider violets extremely dangerous. Yeah, I don't know why I'm missing some of the sound. Because it's not... Like, looking at my mixer, it's not coming through there either. But as soon as uh, events like that are over... Um, All right, let's get to it. You people hear this bonded stare crap? Whoever's behind it knows their way around Advent propaganda. They say, don't talk, don't think, but let me tell you how the world is. That's your first clue. The voice on the radio is never your friend. I have the scavenger market here today. Good thing we just got that extra intel. Uh, uh, ex expropriated? Admin Plasma Grenade delivers a bigger bang than standard frag grenades. Reclamation modified the youth of Advent's version to make... The Mark II dry heat, which retains stopping power and a more predict, predict, predictable blast radius. Uh, damage and damages and removes or shreds armor from targets in a small area. Destroys most cover objects. Clip size increase auto loader. They don't have anything I want. Uh, I do have the ceasefire grenade, but I don't want to switch that out. Do we have anyone in here that we want to swap out? I don't think so. Again, here we can bring it down by two. On some investigation missions, the enemy faction will bring especially powerful forces to the battle. These are called dark events. You can see that what dark event will be present on a mission with your preparing to respond to it or in the investigation screen. Okay, a codex is present on this mission. Minus one unrest in the highlands, plus 35, plus a frag grenade. Over here we'll get adrenal weave, which is an armor mod, and plus 30 intel. And that's gonna go up by two. But if I do this one, it's not also it's gonna come down by two basically. So I kinda wanna do this one over the other one. What time is it? Hmm. Do I wanna start this mission now? It's an easy mission. How many encounters does it have? Two projected encounters. So I think I will do this mission. Uh it shouldn't push us too far over. Is this the team I want to go with, though, is the only question. I think so. Do I have any more things? I do have an advanced shotgun. Okay, you have the enhanced. Oh, if I buy enhanced shotgun, it goes for everyone, actually. So that was, a, that was actually a good buy to do. So these two have enhanced shotguns. Next up will be Cherub with his enhanced pistol. Um, yeah. All right. I mean, we're doing the same team as last time, so we can just get right into it. Yeah, I, I don't need. I don't know why it's doing this. Where these uh, things are quiet, it kind of messes up the whole. Hostiles guarding field. contraband. Snag it and leave. All right. Surprise! Units automatically enter Overwatch after the breach. All units entering here have plus twenty-five aim. Units can run and gun ability on their turn. I don't know how run and gun affects um, Cipher, but it's the only place that makes sense to put her because she doesn't have an Overwatch and she. She doesn't have, she doesn't aim either. Uh, you have the best aim, so you all want you to surprise. You have the stock, so if you miss, you'll deal that extra damage. And you have the hollow targeting, so you'll increase someone else's aim. It's go time. I didn't, again, didn't uh, time them. The back of her head looks weird, I just noticed. It looks like she's a helmet head. The rest of them are alert. You're a resonant. A brute. A bruiser. I want to take out the bruiser. 
Uh, I do want to take out the bruiser first. But I also want to take out the sorceress. So let's hope we can get some high damage on all of them. I can take out the trooper. Who's this? The bruiser. I have a high chance of hitting. Dealing 5 to 7 damage. Okay. Um, we can finish taking them out. Which I will do. And I want you, if I can see them, to take out that bruiser. I cannot see them. That's annoying. Alright, well, we'll go for the resonant then, I guess. And a critical. I think the bruiser, the bruiser is surprised, so I don't have to worry about him, I think, on this first turn. That's what I'm hoping for. He's in melee stance, so that means he's going to be trying to run up and hit somebody. Locking down hostiles. Alright, Godmother's in Overwatch. I should probably try to set their things to be lower uh, than what I've been having them as. We'll move you over to here. That way you have cover from everyone over in this uh, area. This is basically saying, like uh, Zypher, if I enter that range, they're gonna hit. So I can take a shot on you. Oh, you're next in the turn order. I thought it was the Bruiser that was next. I think that's the Bruiser then. So I'll take out the Trooper right now. Yep. Godmother can can we reach them to use subdue? I don't. I'm not trying to get anywhere closer to that thing. Even though I'm gonna move up pretty close to it, anyways. I just want to take out this bruiser before I can uh do anything with its shield. This is a dangerous move with Godmother, but it's for sure worth it to take them out of the turn order. One less target. Perry allows her to block a move and not take damage from the next attack on herself. I could throw this grenade right, right here and we will get it back because it's the um it's his ability it's not actually uh and his armor got shredded too Ooh, you tried to run what a shame why is she moving she's panicked that actually that actually wasn't okay never mind i was gonna say that wasn't bad but she's panicked and didn't get her move. That's annoying. That's great though. That this is all working out, honestly. Will you do four damage? I will say that she she better do at least four. She's gonna get oh my god, she's gonna get hit. That was a weird way to, for the body to move like that. Uh Zypher is no longer panicked, collected the evidence. So you do automatically collect the evidence if you clear the room. That's good to know now. Um there are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Lashing through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. So we're gonna go through this one. Did we take any damage? We didn't, we got lucky with Godmother. Um, completely luck, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Open sesame. Now we should be able to take out everything here since there's only two enemies. I'm gonna focus down this codex immediately because that's just how I want it to be done. The codex will teleport around. Yeah, take him clean out. The codex will teleport around. All right, fire the shotgun during the breach and get in an, gain an initiative bonus and one bonus action for on the first turn. We might as well do it. We're in our last um, breach point. On my way. We have another codex here though. Just gonna hunker down okay that's not bad i know they have strong psionic abilities but besides that i don't know See much that about them once you have it leave okay so the codex turn is next 
I'm going to use team up on on Zypher because she can block one of the attacks that would hit her. So I'm going to use terminal to go over here. She has no cover from this uh, from number seven, but that should be fine. That's the mission objective completed. And now we can begin to make our way out of here. Uh, I knew it was going to have us go across the room. I don't know why. You know, we did just come through a different way. And I want you to overwatch, actually. That's better than me taking the shot. I would think at least. And now you, I want you to hit the codex. Really strike an enemy either disarming, disorientating, stun, or rooting them. I again push the wrong button. Okay, let's do this. We're in cover from everything else besides the codex now. The codex is rooted so it can't move, but I don't know if that means anything because they teleport. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. They split when they take damage. Damn. Need to learn more about these things. So this codex gets a turn. But I don't I don't know I don't know what that angle was. Everyone in there is immune. I don't know Um what's going on here. But I can drop this right here. Can I get it to deal damage to all of them? No, no I can't. But this it will do damage to the thrall and the codex. Throwing shrapnel. And now I should be able to shoot that, right? Yeah. Which will take out that codex and hopefully take out that thrall as well. Yeah, okay. And you have three actions. So, I'm going to move you up to here. Have you take this shot, 100% chance. I have another... I guess not. I guess not. Okay. So. I don't know what this thing, this aura over here is doing. Can I? I cannot hit them with subdue. Is this in that range? Yes. This is not though. Headed worm needed. Don't stray too far. Where are all the enemies coming from? Over in these two doors. So can I get both? I can for sure. I I can't get both actually. Now I don't know what they're finna do now with their turn. And I don't know if something's gonna happen as I leave this aura. That's the only issue that I have here now. Because it makes it seem like something will happen if I move into it, but if I move out of it, I don't know. But we'll find out right now. I did not see that that thing had Overwatch, uh, but that's not bad. And I don't want to move her back in, but I do want to move her into a position where she can help potentially. So if anything moves through this door, uh, Zyphor will shoot. Oh. I don't think I could have done much about that one. Can throw this right there on that door. And then overwatch that door. Godmother, I'll move back and then overwatch on this other door as well. So we have no we have terminal who's overwatching both the doors i think we have claymore watching that door i think i've been calling him shadow again and then godmother's watching that one hello terminal no oh okay just uh letting them think they're safe i guess really playing mind games here I can get you to the door, but can I get him to the door? I'm going to move her all the way there. She's behind this thing, so she should have some level of cover. 
uh, from them. I don't know if I want to take her out yet, though. I actually don't. But I did dash with her, so I want to end her turn. Uh, no. End her turn. I forgot to leave her next to it instead of on it. Ah, I can't heal myself here. Okay. And I'll put you in preparation because I want her watching this door in case anything tries to run through. Skip her turn. I am low on ammunition. Hello? It says it's on terminal. In turn. Yeah, I had a feeling he wasn't going to be able to make it all the way. I could dash him in, but there'd still be no cover. Hmm. I'm going to dash him to right here. And then I'm going to... If I evac her... Yeah, I think I will evac her. She has the, uh, the stuff anyways. So it makes sense to get her out of there. We can at least overwatch that one. Oh, we can't get both. Yeah, we can get both of them. On overwatch. Okay, so let's hope to take out something here. All right, cool. And I don't think you get two shots in overwatch, but I could potentially take them out and then sprint all the way back. Does that make sense to do though? That's kind of moving in the opposite direction. It is moving in the opposite direction. I could take her out. So she's gonna be evac next. Running out of ammunition. He has one shot left. He can dash out as well. I'm scared to move him any further away though although i'm going to do it anyways and then put him in overwatch so that if this trooper makes a move he'll take a shot like i thought he would okay i'm running low and now i can again have godmother overwatch on both of these and then with their next turns i'll bring them out Yeah, okay, that worked out Got perfectly. I need to reload. Yeah, they both need to reload at this point, but they're both gonna get out of here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, that was a thing I did pretty good on that either though. Out. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. Yeah, alright. And we're good. That mission was done pretty quickly actually overall i think i had 37 minutes or 37 minutes in when i started it so it's annoying that i'm not getting these noises hopefully the next time i record it fixes itself all right breach equipment is done plus 50 earlier minus two unrest in the highland district and then 20 intel earned from captured enemies and we have a bunch of upgrades now too. Looking to sink your teeth into something delicious? Why not give Burger Palace a try? We have everything you need to fill your belly or bellies, depending on your species. Our mouth-watering patties are grown from a kelp-derived protein base designed to appeal to everyone. Pending approval from the Global Truth and Reconciliation Commission, you can find us in most city centers. Burger Palace, new name, new location, same great taste. That sounds like a play on Burger King. Uh, all right, the assembly is done. Burge is really helping us out here. Uh, his psionics aren't as useful against the enemies that we're against, but he is still burning us, getting us through all of this. Um, this, uh, this research is that what it's called? Assemblies, he's making all these things for us. So I guess next up, he has an assault rifle. Maybe he should do something for himself. I don't think that makes sense. I could do master crafted armor, but then I'd have to save up the credits to get that. Or I can go ahead and get the pistols and have those ready. Let me check the map first. These are situations. All right, all right. None of those situations will go up anything. So I'm going to, can I upgrade this field team? I can upgrade this field team, and so I will. 
and then I'm going to pull down the unrest in the district. So if I do this, I'm going to get plus 10 income and plus one operation reveal point uh, on district missions. So confirm. So now that's our first rank two um, field team. And I'm instantly going to use this to wipe it clean. All right. And I, th I guess I'm going to go for this situation to immediately get back that intel I just spent also. So that actually works out pretty well. Local thieves keep robbing automated trucks, transporting rare and valuable alloys. A local manufacturer offered a reward for each recovered crate. So that's what I'm going to do next. But let me make sure everything else is set out as I want it. Um, he's idle. We earned 60 earlier, or 60 dollars credits 20 intel and 45 valerian because today's friday in the game march 16th doesn't add up today's monday march 15th that i'm recording this is why it doesn't add up new supply items okay medi patch is available hollow scanner targeter analyzer all right that's what's new i want to get a medi patch that way I can heal at a breach point even though I don't even when I don't have terminal. Alright, promotion rank specialized, unlock cooperation. So terminal coordinates with a nearby unimpaired ally to grant them immediate bonus action. Operate cooperation has a three turn cooldown. So it sounds like team up, which is the one that moves people up in the turn order, except uh it's an actual ability and can be used more than once. You didn't get an upgrade. You obviously didn't. All right, so she's promoted again. Zebra so quickly darts around and attacks every nearby enemy before returning to their original position. That's pretty good, actually. Zap so is becoming one of my favorites very quickly. Claymore is immune to the effects of all grenades and environmental hazards. Uh, improvised Claymore regenerates a charge for carried grenades at the end of each encounter. Mm, I think I want that one. Again, that's more tactically useful, knowing which grenades that, knowing some of the grenades I can get later on. Uh, that's also really powerful too with those grenades, especially if you can get enhanced grenades. Like if I had bought that plasma, that plasma grenade from the last um, time we were at the base, he would be able to use that in every encounter of the mission that he's on. Uh, with that in mind, I will be taking that one. And everyone else is cool. So that means I have extra training for Zypher, who I think I'm actually going to train up now because she's been, I've been said I said she needs to get extra health, which she still does. And now at this at special agent, they get extra training. So Zypher is going to come off the team and Cherub is going to take her place. Zypher is off the team for Cherub. She's going to go into select a unit, Zypher, for unlock potential mobility increased by two. And increased health. I think I'm gonna have her in here training for a while. I'm gonna start off with the uh, unlock potential though. Uh, get her moving around more. I think that might also benefit her with her. Ooh, what's this? The next item you buy in the scavenger market is free. So yeah, so we're getting further into the game. So we're getting uh, better spec ops missions. At some point, I believe we'll be done with the assemblies, and then we'll be able to focus more on spec ops and training our uh, characters. That would make sense. Although I'm not sure. Is there any, there's nothing going on here. We have no spec ops because we have no one spare. Hmm. I still don't have a field team on every point, so it doesn't make sense to get that yet. Although I should also be building a new field team before I start this next mission also. Um, I think I'll do enhanced pistols now and help share about in that sense. And we have field teams here. Uh, does anything have? Yeah, you have unrest, but no field team. So I'm going to put a field team here. Uh, I've set, those other ones cost 70. This one cost 60. So that's how I'm going to make this choice here. So I think at this point, we now have... We have two... Two intel, two finance, and two uh, security. Oh, finance, technology is what it's called. And these ones are security. Had them switched. Yeah, okay. And we use this one to get more intel and possibly build whatever the last district is going to be. Which, our Lyrium is cool. I think it's going to be credits so we can start buying more. Oh, I have two field teams left. 
so yeah i think the next field time i get will be one for credits and we'll send the apc to this situation we checked oh i didn't read the thing from the last mission damn has anyone seen my takeout yeah five minutes ago where where did i see the contents of your unmarked takeout container yes uh, wait on the end of my fork Damn. No. As I ate the last bite. Not again. This is why we use labels. That's still kind of shitty, though, even though it was unlabeled. All right, let's see what we got going on here. This mission is still not known. It has another six days on it. We have, I need to, I probably need to do this one, which is upsetting. Well, I can freeze the district so it won't go up. Which I might do actually. I think I will do that actually. What does this give us? Plus three days towards operation reveal. I want to do that. Minus two unrest in old town. I want to do that. That brings that down to zero. Plus 45 credits. That doesn't have an effect in this case. But this one over here gives us 40 illyrium and minus two unrest in this area. So one two actually i'm not gonna do that right now i'm just gonna hope that i remember to do that now because that's the end of this episode and we know it only saves after we send the apc so uh thanks for watching this video don't forget to follow the socials they're all in the description below uh besides that next time we're gonna be taking on or we're gonna search this admin bunker to get more information on this hidden thing i'm using my hand to gesture again i don't know why use my left hand to gesture instead of my right hand to mouse so we're going to do a search bunker to get more information on this mission and remember to freeze this one, hopefully. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.